Gordon's Hill is the steepest part on the main line. A lot of engines struggle up there. Some dig. Those who can't, especially with heavy freight trains, require a banker. However, Samson does not like having a bank engine on this train, or being a banker. I say, being a banker is just you're doing nothing, instead you're just helping out. It's just a waste of time. You engines can't have enough strength to go up the hill. I'm the strongest engine on this railway. Whatever you say, said Bill and Ben. Say, why not you be a banker for a change, chuckled Bill. Yeah, I'm sure you can handle it being very strong, said Ben. I would never. Although, if I want to, I can manage it without any help. Someone is to teach him right in this place, said Bill. Agree, said Ben. You know that we're supposed to be a bank up Boko's train later, said Ben. You're quite right, said Bill, but we gotta head back to the clay beds. Since Samson's gonna be here later, why not let him do it? Yeah, that sounds right. Edward heard everything. He was about to retort, but he thought of the idea was a good one to teach Samson a lesson. And so went along with it, and didn't say anything else. I say, you two, if Samson fails to get up on his own, you think you're gonna help him? Of course, said the twins, but we're gonna do it secretly. Later in the afternoon, Boko arrived Wells Road with a goods train. He had to stop there to wait for Bill and Ben's his china clay trucks. And then the twins arrived a few seconds later. And like they predicted, they had to get back to the china clay pits quickly. Even Samson all alone, and Boko needs a banker. Samson was very nervous, but he was determined to show Bill and Ben that he can do it on his own. So he went to the back of the train, blew his whistle, telling Boko that he's ready, and off they set. Push hard, push hard, said Boko. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, said Samson triumphantly. As they began to climb, Samson realized he should have been overconfident. He realized he's not that strong, and the weight of the train was too much for him. His wheels slipped and skidded. Boko tried his best too, but the strain began to tail. Samson was almost about to give up as they were halfway up the hill. Suddenly, he began to feel his wheels begin to grip very hard. But what he didn't know, it was Bill and Ben who was helping him. Samson thought that he died all by himself as they coasted down the other side. Edward was waiting at Marin when Boko arrived. Well, I see you and Samson managed to guard up that hill, he said. Yes, that's right, said Boko. Boko continued on as Samson was uncoupled, and Samson felt very proud of himself. See, I told you, I did it, and I'm very confident that I did it all by myself. Really, said Edward smugly as Bill and Ben arrived. I say, Bill and Ben, I thought you two are back at the clay pits. Well, we were, said Ben, but we realized it was too early. And when we saw Samson struggling up the hill, said Bill, we just help out. Oh, so I didn't do it all by myself then, said Samson. What do you want to say to them, Samson? said Edward. Thank you, Bill and Ben. Thank you very much for helping me up. I thought I would never get up the hill all by myself, actually. I had become overconfident. That's alright, said Bill and Ben. A few minutes later, Bear arrived with a passenger train. Hello, I need a banker, please. These coaches are filled to the brim with passengers, and I don't think I can get up the hill by myself. Samson, would you like to help me? Uh, no thanks, said Samson. Bill and Ben, why not you two do it? You two are much better at being bankers than me. Bill and Ben smiled at each other as they helped Bear up the hill. Now Samson doesn't talks about bankers now.